Good morning, guys. It is a 78 degree summer night here in the middle of January here in Doomsday Trailer in Dunnellan, Florida. A few more days of summer before winter finally gets to Florida the next week. But it is Friday. It is now a Friday night, February 12th. 2024 and so uh, my little eco pussy twin over at Collapse Chronicles uh, <laughs> is getting ready to have not an interview <coughs> but a conversation with the artist formerly known as Vegematic. The artist formerly known as Vegematic. Uh, so I am going to wait to listen to that conversation, and I'm sure uh, Hambone Little Tail will uh, have a few words to say about that conversation tomorrow. Uh, you know. I wrestled on who should have that. I, I, I don't know how many of you have seen Veg's, the artist formerly known as Vegematic's new channel called Aging Hippie Conspiracy. Uh, it, it was a tough call whether to uh, give that uh, to Sam Mitchell or Hambone Little Tail. So, Hambone is a little bit butthurt that that uh that that little eco pussy got that uh, got that uh, conversation. So uh, I'm gonna withhold judgment about uh, the artist formerly known as uh, Vegematic's new channel. Tell. I want to hear the man out. I, I mean, I am interested. I'm very interested to see what the man says uh, to Sam Mitchell and, and whether and whether Sam Mitchell can sit there and, and, and play it straight or not. So I'm going to shut up now about that, but I will have more to say about it, I'm quite sure, uh, sometime in the next few days. But I'm just going to let that be I don't know why what I did what I just said H had to be I'm just gonna let that be my segue into this short rant about nonsense uh, and and I'm not even talking unadulterated horseshit here I'm just talking about nonsense just kind of unadulterated horseshit light that everybody on this planet, uh, just, just me included, guys, when I say everyone on this planet, I sure as shit include myself. I am the king of blathering on uh, about nothing at all, for God's sake. I, I love some of the comments I got on that story I told about doing the five grams of mushrooms and meeting up with the UFO full of space aliens on Enchanted Rock where people who had never heard of me before stumbled, you know, these space alien UFO people uh, stumbling into my channel not having any clue who the fuck I am. And it's like, who the fuck is this guy? just blathering on about shit. So I certainly, you know, put myself in the number of, it, it, it's just, it's just unbelievable, guys, the amount of time that we all just spend blathering about nonsense that does not, it, 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 it can be anything. It's like every fucking time I pick up the telephone now, every time I open my email from my friends, it's just going on and on about some crazy shit 
that just, uh, you know, it, it, it might even be somewhat interesting, but, but it's still just, just, it's just fucking nonsense. Uh, it's either, well, you know, so much of it is just what are you doing with your day? Uh, there, there's that kind of thing uh, that, that friends talk about, uh, obviously. A lot like, who gives a fuck that you're laying down a new vinyl floor in an old trailer that I'm never going to see? Who gives a fuck? Uh, a, 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 about a goddamn vinyl floor, uh, some new, uh, some beat up uh, old uh, thing you found on the, the the free page of Craigslist. Whatever. So that shit you, you have that that needs a big fucking hunk uh, of our bladder time. Uh, you know, just talking about little projects you're doing and or, 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 or some crap like that and, and then there's there, there's all you know the love affairs I know you guys are absolutely sick uh, of hearing about my goddamn unrequited uh, love affair and people blathering on and, and I wish everybody on the planet uh, could be in love right now uh, so, darling, you, you know who I'm talking to. I still want to hear about your new love affair, but, uh, but, but yeah, I, I, I'm very happy for anyone who's fallen in love, uh, and I'm very sorry for anyone who, uh, cannot convince, uh, the, the anyway, I, I don't need to go there. And, and then, so then I have not one, not two, but three emails from the woman I love. And I say, all right, three emails from the woman who has consumed my life for the past four and a half years. And I'm thinking, finally, uh, Dulcinea is ready to, ready to talk uh, about, the, you, you know, uh, how much uh, I love her, uh, about how we can start building our future together. And I open up, up these three emails, and she's prattling on about some, uh, you know, after I hear about her dental work, I, then it's, uh, I, 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 I she, what, what was it, darling? What were you talking about? And, and I'm not saying it's not interesting. Okay, it's an, it, 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 it's an interesting simulation theory, you know, of basically the matrix, whether we're all part of a, uh, basically whether humanity is just a, a, you know, a simulation, essentially a computer program that, that she's gotten all hot on this trail, and I misread it as stimulation theory. She wanted to know what my opinion of stimulation theory, <laughs> well, uh, I, I, anyway, we don't need to go there, but it's, uh, and, 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 then, and, and then I have, so I have three emails from her, then I have four emails from this friend of mine in Austin, who I, uh, she actually called me out of the blue uh, three nights ago, and, and, and blathering on and on and on, uh, but, but, you know, talking about our friends and, and, and whatnot in Austin, and, and all of that's fine. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. And, and then she sends me three emails quoting she's gotten into some fucking, some fucking bliss ninny, I don't know who the fuck, someone with one of these Indian names, some goddamn new philosopher she's uh, that 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 she stumbled onto that that she wants to share all of these quotes with uh, and she's sending me but but she at least titled it uh, bliss ninny bliss ninny bullshit is so I got three bliss ninny bullshits and I responded back 
doomer bullshit, we are so fucked. And uh, I should have credited that to Derek Jensen, who came up with that line. But I gave uh, myself the thing. So she, uh, <laughs> so she, she replies back to my doomer bullshit. Uh, to all of her, to all of her bliss nitty, prattling on about uh, about all of this peace and love and manifesting and shit. I love you, Hambone, uh, with, uh, with like three big red hearts or whatever, and all capital letters. I love you, and I uh, and I have this this note from uh, this you know this alert from Yahoo Mail with an exclamation point going, we don't know why this is in your inbox. Do you want us to, you know, to, to send it to spam? Uh, so whenever you send somebody now, if you send somebody a, an email to a friend, I love you, with a couple of red hearts, that's going to flag uh, that, that, that's going to fucking flag the, the cop bots at, 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 uh, at Yahoo Mail that there's suspicious activity, you know, probably thinking the only, uh, the only people who say something like, I love you, or, or, or you know, or some goddamn internet hooker uh, trying to milk you for money or something. Uh, oh God. And then, uh, damn, phone rings last night. It's my new, uh, you know, my dominatrix doomer chick girlfriend down here. She goes on for an hour. An hour. Uh, on the phone last night. Just... Whatever uh, that we we did, uh, I did introduce her to Terence McKenna. She had never heard the name Terence McKenna, so uh, in anyway, I've introduced my new uh, dominatrix tumor chick girlfriend down here in Florida to Terence McKenna. So meanwhile, I have her calling me. Uh, prattling on for an hour, and 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 then the the woman I love uh, asking me what is my opinion on simulation theory. Simulation theory. Well, you know, it's just one of those things that that that's fun to talk about. Uh, you know, they they made that movie about it. Uh, but it, it's completely harmless. So, it, it, you know, all of this stuff on the artist formerly known as Vegematic, you know, his, his new format, so what? So, so the fuck what? Uh, good, good for Chris. Uh, you know, I just, I just kind of wonder what, what the hell was, was his New Year's Eve punch spiked with? Uh, it, it's fine uh, if you're if you're chasing down uh, simulation theory or peace, love, and happiness. Uh, if if you're quoting some little bliss ninny philosopher from India, good for you. Good, good, good for you. I I, I cheer you on. Uh, I'm not knocking any of it. It, it. It's all interesting stuff. You know, it was an end game that uh, Derek Jensen, you know, the opening to end game, uh, where he talks about this, where he basically has whatever it is, the 20... How did Derek... I, I need to reread end game. Uh, he listed 20 things that were basically worth talking about, I think. Were they the, were they the 20 things that were worth talking about? I'm, I'm having a senior moment. Or were they the 20 things not worth talking about? You know, all of this stuff 
uh, and, and as Derek was saying 20 years ago, uh, in Endgame, if, if you're a doomer and haven't read Endgame, that all of this shit, it's not bad stuff to be talking about. You, you know, religion, spirituality, philosophy, uh, whatever, simulation theory, uh, whatever, they're in and of themselves, they're fine, interesting subjects to be talking about. But, but when the fucking planet is on fire, you know, uh, it was it was Endgame where we are so fu where that showed up was was from Endgame the WASF came out and in, uh, in, in Endgame where you know Derek has a habit in his writing kind of like I do uh, in, in my in my rambling rants where he just kind of gets off. And, 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 and he goes off on some tangent rant. I can't even remember what the rant was about. And obviously he caught himself doing it, going off on one of these wordy, run-on sentence rants in, in Endgame. And, and he just breaks it in the middle of his rant and says, we are so fucked. And then he dives back into his rant again. When, when I interviewed Derek the first time, he, he honestly acted like he had no memory of what I was talking about. Uh, like he wasn't even claiming that we are so fucked. Uh, like, did, did I write that? <laughs> but, you know, but what he's saying is, and I know exactly what he's saying, Uh, when, when, when we're completely fucked and, and, and how in the face uh, of the collapse of everything how we can sit here and, and just go on and on and on about some fucking vinyl floor on your trailer or, or, or four and a half fucking years uh, whining uh, uh, about some woman that you fell in love with who obviously is not in love with you. Uh, how many ways can you fucking say it? Move on with your fucking life. Uh, but we go on and on and on. So anyway, I just figured I should probably get that off my chest before uh B before I turn the reins over to that little eco pussy over at uh, at Collapse Chronicles, so uh, if you haven't heard that interview over there, uh, go over to Collapse Chronicles and listen to that, and uh, we will see if Hambon Littletail is is going to have anything to say about that uh, interview. <laughs> over the next few days but I gotta take off this whatever this hat is and put on the Sam Mitchell hat and uh, hear what Chris has to say about being an aging hippie conspiracy I guess does that make you an aging hippie conspiracy theorist we're going to find out, aren't we? Get out there and prattle on. Prattle on. That's what we do because we are humans. Ugh. Bye, guys. And this little dog, what do you think about all of the prattling? Say prattle on.